And these kids have been active all day. And because we've been inside, we're a little bit, whew. So, look at this group. And we don't have all of them there yet. I'm not gonna have the little kids sit until we're ready. So thank you for coming to our Friday finale. All of you guys back here right now are just gonna be listening, okay? Could I have all my station leaders up front, please? All my station leaders, you know who you are. Station leaders. I know there's more than two of you. Station leaders, come on up front. All right. We have been shipwrecked on an island all week long. We have had 50 kids, and plus, some days we had more than others. We had 11 youth, we had 11 adults, plus lots of other helpers that were behind the scenes helping. And what we did during our adventure, we learned all week long how Jesus rescues. When we're lonely. Jesus When we worry. that we've had all week and it was a great week we really had a blast the kids were awesome and it doesn't happen VBS does not happen without a dedicated crew of, of helpers so I just want to highlight um, and, and say some names and if I have forgotten anybody it's on me but I want to recognize Barb Sprecher she was if you guys want to take a look at the decorations out underneath in the fellowship hall, we decorated our island. Also, if you see the, the lovely lighthouse up here, that's uh, all her creation. And then the big banner behind that um, is Heidi Massingill. She painted that lovely banner for us, for our float. And so it's just an awesome thing to come in here and be reminded that that lighthouse represents Jesus' light. So, um, Emily Carncross, is she up here? Oh, Emily, she also helped in crafts. And the, um, yes. And they did little experiments and stuff like that too. Uh, okay, Laura Malone and Ryan Elliott. Raise your hand. They were our game people this week. And I got to get in on one of the games today. We did chariot race, uh, mat races in the fellowship hall because it was raining and actually that floor was perfect for that. So I even got a ride, which was a blast. All right, Christy Kinneman. Okay, she was our cinema. The kids came in here every day. They had uh, videos that they watched and uh, they also did God sightings. So the kids talked about things that they had seen during the week that were God sightings, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a little bit. But also, bhbumc.org, Facebook page, check it out. You can see pictures, you can see videos, you can see lots of things. We've got quite a following right now, so bhbumc.org, check it out. Okay, um, Pastor Kendall, I don't know where he is. I think he's grilling. Okay. Well, he was our Bible adventure guy. And is Christine up here too? Okay. Christine Elliott was our pinch hitter. She also did Bible story. She also did cinema one day. Uh, but they were telling the Bible story of the morning. And it was a great adventure. The kids learned a lot of cool stuff. Uh, Heidi Gierke. Where's Heidi? She's our, she's our resident mom. She takes care of group G. Group G is just the littles. And so she's kind of our, our mom leader there. I don't think Shalom is here, but Shalom's kids, stand up. Okay, Shalom Ullman is our baker. Baker, snack maker, extraordinaire. And every day she provides the snacks, but I know that these kiddos also probably help put things on, cookies and things, so that was Shalom. And then the person that 
organized all that every morning. Faith Michael back there. She put snacks out and, and everybody kind of helps with that, but in the kitchen. Um, Sue Evans. Sue Evans. Where's she at? Okay, she was our crossing guard. She made sure everybody got safely to and from from here to the play area across the street, amongst other things. Also, these beautiful t-shirts were a donation from Sue's sister. Sue took them home. She tie-dyed them all. We all fancied them up. And so here we are. And it's great to have these t-shirts to kind of know who's who around here. So we appreciate that. Um, our lunch crew, I don't know if you can hear me, but you guys could probably smell burgers when you came in. So we'll have lunch afterwards. And there was lots of hands that were helping with that. So everybody, thank you for helping with lunch crew. Um, did I get everybody? And I was the music person. Yes. I don't know. We gotta go. Yeah. We gotta thank uh, Karen and Pastor Kendall. Without them, I PBS would not be what we be now. You're welcome. Okay. Now I would like my crew leaders, my youth crew leaders, to stand up, face that way. These youth gave an entire week of their summer mornings. They had to be here by 8.45 every morning. Some of them walked, some of them biked, some of them got a ride. Um, but they've been a dedicated bunch and it's been really good. So, Brendan, Austin, Austin, Kale, Carolyn, Ellie, Kyle, Lexi, Carly, uh, oh! <laughs> I know these girls, but they're pulling a trick on me. Paige and Carly, um, they, they, were, they basically managed, managed your kids all week. So thank you guys. You guys may have a seat. Okay. All right. Now, if you saw there was a little display at the front door there, the kids have been bringing in change cash all week long for seeds that are going to be given to the country of Haiti. They've had a lot of devastation in that country and they have um, issues with drought and bad soil. So what they do, we're partnering with um, World Vision. And so that money goes to buy drought tolerant seeds. And as of earlier, we had over $80 collected. So thank you kids for bringing all that. If you would still like to make a donation, you can put it in that sea bag out there and we'll make sure it gets to the right place. All right. So, we've shared a lot of awesome experiences together, yes? Yes. Yes. And now we're going to share some of our favorite songs. So, I want my little, you guys can stand back up where you were and take that step forward. Okay, and then you guys can come right here. Shalom just walked in. She's our, our snack gal right back there. You guys can stand right here. And you guys can stay right here. You guys can stay right here, but I want you on the floor so that moms and dads can take these videos. Okay, are we ready to sing? Can you see? Can you see? All right, let's turn the music on. You guys can kind of do the actions right here. You guys know these words. Yeah. 
you guys stand up and kind of fill that area in? Fill that area in? You'll have to get in on this. Okay, so clap. Okay, when we get to that point, that's what you got to do. Okay, so you guys can stand up. Can you guys stand over there? Come on, crew leaders. I want you somewhere around here. There's room over there. There's room over there. Okay, you ready? We're going to do our eye of the storm. Eye of the storm. Okay, you ready? It's our day where we really focus on what Vacation Bible School, why we come, why we do what we do. The kids had an opportunity. We talked all about how our lives have our sin. We have, it's full of sin, right guys? And we, we have to make that decision when we've done wrong that we can ask Jesus to forgive us and we can give our heart to him. And if you were here yesterday, what was yesterday? Tell me what the date was, guys. August 16, 2018. Yesterday was a day of decision. They each had an opportunity, if they wanted to. They didn't have to. But they could come to us and get a little heart sticker. If they wanted to make in that decision in their mind, or remake that decision, they could take that heart and go put it on that, on that cross. And the kids all did that yesterday in a beautiful, beautiful way. And we're hoping that the seeds that were planted yesterday, on what day? August 16, 2018. That that will be a day in their lives that they're going to remember in their faith journey. And that that seed that was planted will what? Grow. So this is the song that we sang yesterday when we, um, wrong one, wrong one. Okay, so listen to the words while they sing this. Guys.
All right. This was the song that they sang every morning when they came, usually once more during the morning. And at our closing, we got two more songs, Never Let Go of Me. Okay, so guys, belt it out. All right.
almost 11.30. We've got a few um, things to take care of. There is crafts that the kids made today. I think they had some posters. And I believe they're all sitting on the bench that's out in the fellowship hall. So they should be in kind of their crew. So kids, I'm going to take it upon you to find your craft. And let's see. We also all week did Bible Buddies. And they've been learning about their Bible Buddies all week, but they did not get them. And that's a today thing. And we're going to do this in an orderly fashion. <laughs> but what I think we're going to do first is we are going to say a blessing over the lunch. How are you guys doing out there? They're ready. So what? this is how we're going to do this. I say this every morning. This is how we're going to do this. Does it always work? Not always. Um, we're going to say a prayer. We're going to do a lunch prayer right now, Pastor Kendall. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have you folks start making your way out to the fellowship hall for lunch. We're going to distribute the Bible buddies here. But a mom or a grandma, if you want to kind of stay in here and grab your kiddo, that's fine. But it's going to take just a smidge to get these kids their Bible buddies. But everybody else can go start in the lunch line. So let's... We're going to say a, a lunch prayer, okay? Thank you again all for being here, for letting us uh, spend this time this week with your kids. It's been a real blessing to us, and I hope, hope it has been for your kids too. Let's pray. God, thank you. Thank you again for this week and all the ways that you have touched our hearts this week. God, that you would continue to, to nourish, to, uh, to build up, to encourage uh, each one of us in our faith, Lord Jesus. Bless this food, bless the continuing fellowship and gathering in your holy and precious name, Jesus. Amen. And one more thank you to Karen, who has done a tremendous... Okay, so again, if anybody wants to get in line started, we're going to take a few minutes up here. So, okay, I'm just going to talk to these guys. You can talk amongst yourselves.